Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of the Sunday update with Mr. Sketchhead. Title still under works. Listen, I've been wanting to make a series like this for quite a while. You know, kind of just like a video each week where I wrap up what happened this week in terms of the channel, in terms of gaming news, in terms of just, you know, what's happening. Kind of give you an update and also, you know, just talk about shit that's been happening. I've been wanting to make this, like I said, however, the main obstacle has been a camera. What you're seeing now is being recorded on my brand new webcam. Yes, I finally did get a webcam, you know, as you probably noticed, I've been working really hard on kind of upgrading my streaming setup. I have a better computer, I have an actual icon for YouTube, like a channel design stuff. I've been working on that and of course I got a new webcam and this is the first video to kind of test it out so if everything goes right every stream from now on will have this beautiful face and you can stare at it as well instead of staring at the game hey if it works it works uh, i'm not gonna you know uh ignore the fact that i've been kind of behind the times with not having a webcam basically everyone has a face cam or whatever so yeah it's time to join up with everyone else pretty much everyone else so yeah, uh, in terms of the channel, uh, this is basically the big news. Other than that, I can also happily announce without kind of bragging that today is my birthday, August 4th. Yes, I am now officially old as fuck. I turned 26, which is, yeah, it's officially old now. I'm only kidding, of course. I'm only kidding. Uh, but yeah, it's my birthday. Cam is unrelated, so I, I bought this a few days ago. So yeah, the reason there haven't been streams this past week, if you saw my last stream, you know that the ending was scuffed as hell because my idiot dog uh, decided to bite down on a frog while I was streaming and she started kind of like choking and throwing up. Not like choking, but you know, all frogs have kind of like this weird poison on them and if dogs bite them, they kind of start you know, foaming at the mouth and shit, so I had to interrupt the stream because we had to take her to the wet to get kind of an antihistamine allergy shot. It was a whole mess. That was the scuffest stream probably that I ever had. And after that, I really didn't have time to stream. I'm off next week from work. And because of that, I was kind of busy, didn't really have time to stream. I did upload the Nightwolf reaction stuff. And basically Friday, Saturday, and even today, I... We had like friends and family over, right? Friends and family over. So that's what's been happening. That's why there haven't been streams. Uh, unfortunately, I can announce that next week there won't be many streams as well. Even though I'm not working, I am going away on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. I'm coming back Thursday evening, so there might be a stream there. But Monday, Friday, there, there for sure will be streams. Really grinding to finish uh, Bloodborne. And then... Next Saturday, there for sure will be a stream. And then in two weeks, I'm also traveling again. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday again. Which kind of sucks. Not a trip I'm looking forward to, but it's work-related. So basically got no choice. So yeah, that's what's going to be happening. Streams are going to be kind of scuffed these next two weeks. I will also be missing out on the Night Wolf uh, release, which will be on the 13th. But I'll try getting that out once I get back. Uh, if you want to keep up with me, what I'm doing, there's always my Discord, which I will link in the description, and also my Instagram, which is... If you want to see what I'm doing outside of YouTube, as I always said, it's the best way to keep up with me. It's also the best way to get in contact through DMs. You can slide in there, you know, and get on with that. So that's what's going to be happening with the streams. Again, it's going to be kind of scuffed these next two weeks. I'm going to try having videos out, normal videos. But lately, you know, I've been struggling to find games. I'm not going to lie. Uh, more on combat, I'm not a huge fan of currently. Uh, a Souls game, I prefer streaming Souls games over playing them. So I've been kind of struggling to, you know, find like games I've been playing. I've been really enjoying uh, playing Street Fighter V lately and also Tekken. So I might do, might do those two games. That's a mouthful. Uh, because I'm really enjoying those games, even though they're old as fuck. Uh, you know, it's all about having fun. It's all about having fun. All right, part two of this segment. And again, this kind of video format, including the title, which if you have a better idea for a title, free, feel free to suggest. See, I can't even talk. Yeah, just suggest anything you have. I'll take it into consideration. 
The other one I'm going to cover kind of like the three main big things that happened in terms of gaming news this week, which there have been quite a few things. First of all, personal stuff, Nightwolf trailer release for Mortal Kombat 11. A huge Mortal Kombat 11 fan, even though I've been in a slum with the game. Uh, I'm not enjoying the game as much as I thought I would be. Hopefully Nightwolf is going to kind of revitalize my interest. He looks fun. I'm not going to lie. He looks fun. And yeah, I'll check him out for sure once I get back. Uh, Nightwolf and kind of MK11 has been kind of a big thing. With EVO happening this week, you know, in terms of fighting games, huge tournament. The numbers have been awesome like absolutely awesome i'm so glad that fighting games are finally being pushed into the mainstream i mean dragon ball fighters i think had 100k plus views i think tekken 7 had 100k plus views even street fighter 5 you know which barring your opponent your opinion on street fighter 5 it's a huge game smash of course gigantic uh the grand finals are actually happening today on sunday it's gonna be massive even like the lesser known games like well, not less, less popular games uh, brought out the hype. Soul Calibur 6 was awesome. Very hype tournament. Sam Show, incredible. So yeah, I'm really happy that fighting games are really showing that they can bring the hype. And I think the reason for that is that the current lineup of fighting games is very good. Again, barring your opinion, people hate Smash. People hate Street Fighter. Some people, some people don't like Dragon Ball Fighters. And I have my opinion on these games. But you cannot deny that all of these games are fun to watch. And all of these games are the type of games where even people who don't understand fighting games can watch them and they can understand and see the excitement that comes from these games. So really happy, of course, Evo was a huge thing. So glad that's happening. All right, next thing that we got to talk about, I feel like I have to mention this, Modern Warfare. COD Modern Warfare had like a big reveal. Uh, by the way, if you're wondering what the fuck I'm glancing at, over to this side. This is where I have my microphone and my kind of mixer and I'm kind of checking if I'm not like clipping the audio. Whatever. Modern Warfare. The game is looking good. You, listen, I'm not gonna deny that the game is looking good. Uh, of course, I'm gonna be honest with you. I do not trust Activision on anything. Activision, right? That's who publishes? Yeah, yeah, it is Activision. Listen, I don't trust them on jack shit, but from what we've seen and the news we've heard of Modern Warfare, they are finally going in the right direction. I feel like COD has been in a slump for like many, many years. I haven't enjoyed any COD since the first Black Ops, I think. Like really enjoyed. So hopefully returning to the roots is going to be helping out a lot. First things first, the first thing that's kind of exciting about the game is that it's going to have PS4, PC and Xbox One crossplay, which I think in terms of longevity for any game, as Fortnite basically demonstrated, is always great. Uh, they are also saying there won't be a season pass. And this is where the I don't trust them on shit comes in, because I don't trust them not to stuff the game with cosmetics and microtransactions and all that. But hey... Right now, it looks like there will be no season pass. And even the game in general looks like it will be returning to more of the old school format, which, you know, I've always said Modern Warfare 1, Modern Warfare 2, those are great games. I enjoyed the hell out of them. The first Black Ops, I played a ton of those games, you know. You cannot deny that they're classics. So, yeah, if they are going back to that style, I think this game has a real chance. Black Ops 4 was okay. I enjoyed the Battle Royale mode. I only ever played it uh, at other people's houses. It was okay, but it just didn't have longevity. And hopefully, one of the things I would really like to see is for them to drop this yearly format. I mean, I think several games at this point have demonstrated that even big budget, huge games can have multi-year cycles. It's not impossible to maintain a game's popularity. So this, you know, constant idea of COD every November, I think they got to get rid of that. Again, games have shown Fortnite is kind of an extreme example, but you know, even if you look at going back to fighting games, a Street Fighter V or Tekken, even though those games are not that huge, they have demonstrated that you can sustain a game for many, many years. And there's no reason COD shouldn't take that approach as well. I think it's still gonna make them a fuck ton of money. That game will be huge. And you know what? I'm not gonna lie, I'm interested in picking it up. So we'll check that out when it comes out in November, I think. So yeah, that's in terms of COD news. And finally, 
let's bring down the mood a little bit. We got to talk a little bit about the shooting that has happened in El Paso. Massive tragedy. You know, I've made many kind of not videos, but I have, I think, throughout streams expressed my thoughts on uh, gun violence in the US and even how it ties into video games. I mean, of course, I'm European, but I lived in the US for many, many years. So I feel like I do have the perspective from uh, kind of both sides. Of course, my opinions on gun ownership and all that are still very European, which is people are probably going to crucify me anyways. But yeah, unfortunately, massive tragedy, massive shooting. And how it relates is this kind of semi-viral clip that was shared, uh, that was put out by Fox News, uh, where they were, of course, having a segment discussing the shooting. And of course, what did they get to? They got to blaming video games, specifically Fortnite. Yes, it's decided Fortnite is the reason that mass shootings happen. Of course, people get desensitized and they get used to killing people from fucking Fortnite. This has been, I don't know, like I've been around for many, many years. I can remember when Jack Thompson, who was pretty infamous, you know, he was talking about COD and GTA and all that, how it corrupts kids and all that. Hasn't been relevant then. It's not relevant now. It's a stupid argument. I, like a year ago, made a whole video on it no correlation between video games and gun violence never has been uh the only correlation with gun violence is gun ownership safe to say especially when you look at the way and the rate that many people are getting radicalized uh, through various means on the internet combine that with easy ownership of guns and you've got the recipe for a fucking disaster i've always maintained this opinion you know i don't shy away from it and of course certain news outlets with certain political leanings have got to push their opinions and it's much easier to blame it on Fortnite, which is, again, Fortnite is such a weird target. I understand it's the most popular game right now with, of course, the exception of Minecraft, but, you know, Minecraft would be very difficult to blame for a mass shooting. I always thought that Fortnite would be immune from the standard criticism that comes with this. You know, it's not an M-rated game. It's very cartoony. Uh, even the violence, there's no blood, no anything. So I always thought that that would be a game that would be immune from that. But of course, I guess people got to look at whatever they can to push their agenda. I never thought that Fortnite of all things would be used to push any sort of political opinions, whether you like Fortnite or not, you know, as a whole. But still, I always maintain the fact that there's absolutely no correlation between video games and any sort of violence. And I would challenge anyone to prove that there is any type of correlation between the two. So far, I think no one has been successful at demonstrating anything. But hey, again, you got to push that agenda. Uh, you got to, you know, capitalize on a tragedy and blame fucking Fortnite. I guess that's the only thing they knew, you know. Like, you know, the editor is sitting in the newsroom. Hey, what game are you aware of? Fortnite, you know. So we got to push it. Still, it's unfortunate. It is what it is. Uh, even though, you know, that tragedy is absolutely terrible, you know. Again, I was in the US and, you know, I think back in 2014 when I was still in college, you know, there was a mass shooting uh, in a college, I think in Oregon or something. Maybe Oklahoma. I don't remember one of the O states. And, you know, it does make you think like it does make you worried. Like if I was still in the US, you know, it always plays in the back of your mind. If you go out to a bar, to a restaurant, even to shopping, you know, this guy shot up a Walmart like. You go there to shop. So unfortunately, with the way things are, uh, it always plays in the back of your head. And, you know, it's terrible. Yeah, it's not good. And it's not the result of Fortnite, that's for sure. So, yeah, now that we've brought the mood down, now that I've exposed, like, political opinions here on the Internet, I'm sure the comments are going to be a shitstorm. Still, episode one of this series, we got to start off with a bang. So... Yeah, let's go ahead and wrap it up here. I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like this video if you enjoyed, comment, subscribe, do all that. It helps out a ton. Let me know what you think of this series. Should I keep it? Should I get rid of it? What should I name it? Happy to hear your thoughts. I'll wrap it up here, guys. Thanks for watching and see you next Sunday, I guess. Peace out.